Okay, you guys probably all have to click that it is okay that you are being recorded because that is a new Zoom thing because we want to make sure that you guys are all quite aware. Um, so I am really, really excited. I know the leaders uh, that have invited you are all super, super excited. I know the presenters are really excited. We just have really, I, I say, high energy for this um, I want to call it a class almost or a course. How about a course? Um, this six week training um, is going to be fantastic. It's really going to be absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can hit, hold on one second for all the, I can probably get everybody. Yeah. Sorry guys. I'm going to try to mute everybody here. Just so if you guys can, as you're coming in, if you can just, if you're not a presenter, please mute yourself so that that just helps keep us in presenter mode for the ones coming on in just a few seconds. So like I said, we're super, super excited for this training. Um, it's really collaborative. It's going to be great for all of you. If you have one of these fantastic presenters as an upline through the next six weeks, uh, you're very lucky, but of course, what do you get their voice all the time? If you're one of my people, you hear me all the time. You get my silly faces and, and, and basically my knowledge, but this has been us working together to combine and share knowledge of what we do and what we do best. So I'm, and I think the presenters kind of, we were kind of like, well, what we love to talk about or what we're really comfortable and talking about in our business and how awesome is this that we're going to share this with all of you. So again, this is going to be the next six weeks. We do ask for your commitment. Uh, and if you can't be live, that's okay. We will record all the sessions. However, we want your shining faces here. We want your interactions. We want you to ask your questions to the presenters if you have them at the end. We'll allow them to do their presentation first and then we'll allow questions afterwards. But that is all part of what I'm saying about the energy and the collaboration. Now, what we want you to get out of this is just for you to move the needle in your business, right? Wherever you're at, if you're a consultant, it may be just starting to feel comfortable at your parties, offering the opportunity and sponsoring some new people. If you're a star beauty consultant, you may want to rank up um, to the next level and so on. We really want you to get what you want out of being with the body shop at home. So what does that look like? So throughout this process, we're gonna ask you to keep going back to your accountability partner. Do you know who he or she may be? Yes, you do. It is that person that invited you to this training. So the person that invited you is your accountability partner. So after each session, we're going to have some interactive homework, maybe, um, for you guys to do that you want to go back to that person and make sure that you're sharing um, what you've learned and what we've asked of you with that person, because that's going to help us talk through things and move you forward, right? And of course, accountability keeping you on track. So a couple of little housekeeping things that you should know. Make sure that you're in the path to leadership group. So if you're not, again, talk to the person that invited you. We'll make sure you're in the Facebook group because that'll be an easy way to always find the Zoom link and always find the homework and any information that might be shared can be shared in there and also questions. Ooh, getting some feedback, put everybody on mute here. There we go. So, um, and the other thing is we have a Google document. If you can please make sure you fill out that Google document because it has some particular questions in there like your address, your email, um, and why may we want this? Well, <laughs> we have a couple of things in store for you. For those of you who complete the entire course, in the end, what's going to happen is you are going to get a certificate of completion. So we want you to have something for actually putting your time and effort in this. Of course, you're going to have the advancement in your business that's going to happen, but we want you to have, to, want to have something physical. So we want to make sure that we have your proper name and everything on, um, on that certificate. The other thing is 
We need your emails, which is on that Google form, because we would like to invite you all to our very first leader retreat. Yeah, we wanted to do it something special for all of you who um, said, yeah, I'll participate. Oh, there we go. I'll put my efforts into the next six weeks. So um, we wanted to invite you to our leader retreat. It's going to happen August 10th and 11th in Warren, Ohio. It's actually at a resort. Um, and all the information will come to you via email. So we need you on that Google form so we can make sure we get you all the details of that. So if you participate the six weeks, now you're going to know if you're going to participate or not, right? So it's okay if you want to commit and say, yeah, I'm going to be there. We want you there. So absolutely. Um, you can, you know, when you get the information, you can set up your room and set up your travel and let us know that you're coming. Um, I'm just looking to see, I think that was all of my housekeeping information. So let's talk about tonight. Um, okay, yes, this is a fantastic session for everyone, no matter where you're sitting in your business, because this is community building, relationship, finding customers. Because a lot of times they'll say, oh my gosh, go do this, find some customers. But if you don't have the processes, you might feel a little stuck. So we have fantastic uh, presenters tonight. Both are platinum leaders. So we have Stacy Greener and Shannon Keevy who are going to present on these subjects. And I love the different approaches that they take to them. So we are going to start with Stacy. So Stacy, if you wanna come off mute. Hello, hello. Uh, oops, I just muted you, Stacy. Sorry, I'm trying to mute everybody else. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Okay, good. Now? <laughs> yes. Okay, I think I've everybody else. So do you have command of the screen, Stacy? You should. I think so. Fantastic. I hope so. I'm going to be able to share my screen and uh, should I go ahead and do that now? You can share your screen and I will go on mute. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Okay, can you guys see my screen? I need somebody to come off mute and say yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I did. I designed this in Canva, and gosh, if you guys aren't using Canva, it is so much fun. I just enjoy it so much. So my name is Stacy Greener, and Shannon Keevy and I, uh, whom I just adore, by the way, and I'm really enjoying getting to know her as we're planning this for you. Um, we are doing building community through relationships. And I am going to start off by talking about building relationships through your Facebook parties, because that's where I hold most of my parties. So for me, holding parties in person, on Facebook, Zoom, however you want to do it, it's important if you want to build a successful business and have an active VIP group like Shannon does. And I, I have one too, but not nearly as much as she does. So, but I always like to say it all starts with parties. I'm constantly saying that to my team. It's because parties are where you meet new people who are going to become your customers, your hosts, and people who join your business, your team. So how many parties you do a month is really up to you. But if you want to build a team and become a leader, I highly recommend at least four parties a month. So make that a goal. Okay, so once you have a party started, it's important to introduce yourself. Um, I like to do that uh, via a Facebook Live because, you know, really this is the first part of building a relationship. Um, I tell a little bit about myself, my hobby, my hobbies, my family, um, why I love the body shop at home. Um, and I share three opportunities that they're going to have during the party. But people buy from people they know, like, and trust. And you really, really, really want that to be you. And the more people get to know you, the more they are going to like you and the more they are going to trust you and they are going to become your friends. 
So the three opportunities that they'll have, and I think I got this from Michelle Yagedich, I do believe, but I always like to say, like when I'm introducing myself in my Facebook party, I always start out by, by you know, telling about myself. And then I say, now I want to share with you three opportunities that you're going to have this week. And before I go on, guys, I want you to know that Shannon and I do have a handout. So take notes if you like, but don't feel like you have to write everything down because we have a handout for you. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So I, I let them know, okay, you're gonna have three opportunities this week. The first opportunity is to become a customer. And believe me, I'm gonna share so many exciting products with you that are honestly products I can't live without. And you are going to want many of them. So that leads me to the second opportunity, which is to host your own party. Because if your wish list is bigger than your budget, you might want to consider hosting your own party and getting a free shopping spree. And let me tell you, your friends are going to love you for it because they're going to have so much fun, just like you're going to have fun at this party. And so you're definitely going to want to consider that. And your hostess, Mary, is going to get um, freebies for free gifts for the bookings that she receives here at her party. Now, the third opportunity, guys, is the best opportunity, and that is to join my team as a body shop consultant. Now, I just want to encourage you because this is the most fun I've ever had in my life. It's the best job, hands down. And so I just encourage you, whether you've thought about doing something like this or not, just to watch what I do and see if you can picture yourself doing something like this. So those are the three opportunities that I talk about. So once you have the party started um, and you've introduced yourself, um, the next thing to do is to take that conversation and strike up a conversation in Messenger. Now, Messenger is the place where you can really get to know people because not everybody is going to comment on your post. You know, there are those introverted people who just aren't going to do it. Um, so taking it to Messenger allows you to build, start building that relationship. So shortly after the party starts, usually um, by day two for sure, I private message everyone thanking them for being part of the hostess's party or social and to let them know that I'm there to answer any questions that they have or to help them with their order. I am there for them. So if they respond, it's important to keep that conversation going and find common ground. You might even look them up on Facebook and say, oh, wow, I see that you like yoga. I love yoga too, you know? So things like that, you know, you just wanna really find ways to connect with them. A top tip is to play a game where they have to messenger you their answer. This connects you in messenger. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but sometimes I'll find messages from people that I didn't know were in my messenger mailbox. And that's because we're not connected on messenger through Facebook. So if you can get them to message you, then that connects you on messenger and makes sure makes that assures you that they are seeing your messages to them. So uh, give that a try. I've done that before and it really works well. I don't do it all the time, but I always, always, always message people at the start of the party. So some party tips for you, be the expert, add value to your posts. But that being said, if you don't know the answer, be honest and let them know that you'll find out. You want to make your job look easy. The easier you, your job looks, the, if you make it look really hard, if you know everything, then they're gonna think there is no way I could do something like this. So be the expert, but if you know too much, you might wanna dumb it down a little bit because you don't wanna make your job look hard. Next is great host coaching. You know. Your hostess is really your best lead for joining your team. So you want to make sure that you have a great relationship with her. And part of that is going to be developed through great hostess coaching. So let you know, let your host know results, rewards await her. Um, mail a catalog, 
mail some instructions. I mail um, like sales flyer and what I'm going to give her for her party because I do give some extra rewards along the way. And I'm happy to share that if you want information on that, I'm happy to share that with you. I also send her an order form or two and some samples. I usually send three or four body butters. And really just touching base with her. Let her in, in my hostess coaching letter, I actually um, let her know that I would like to know what her goal is. So you can touch base with her again, you know, several times before the party starts, just to make sure that you uh, are on the same page and that you know what she's working toward. Next up, I wanna mention using a scheduling platform. <clears throat> I do four or more parties a month. So for me, I really like using Post My Party. At $9.95 a month, it honestly, it makes my parties and my life so much easier. And as a leader, I really love that I can share my templates with my team. And so that makes their job easier because I know a lot of them work full time. Now, if you would like some information on Post My Party, um, I'm happy to share um, a template with you to get you started. So just private message me about that. Um, next, use Messenger wisely. And we're gonna go into that in the next slide. So I PM people uh, four times during the party. The first one I've already mentioned, I thank them for joining the party uh, and let them know that I'm there to help and answer any questions they may have. The second one is um, thanking them for their order. Now, of course I do that in my party too. I, I post it in the party so that the host knows that they've ordered and that they know that I've gotten their order. But then I also like to PM them as well. And in Messenger, I can ask them what they got or if I've already looked it up, I can say, oh my gosh, you're going to love the Shea. You're going to absolutely love it. It just makes your skin feel so amazing. Or if they got some gift sets, you know, I ask who they're giving them to, anything to keep that conversation going. And then the fourth time I message them is after, um, let's see, no, the third time, it, I'm sorry, skipped one there. Party is ending soon. Okay, so right before the party ends, usually like if, if I'm ending on Wednesday, I would either do it on Monday or Tuesday. And I would just say something like, we're wrapping up Mary's party soon. I'm attaching a party link for your convenience. Remember orders over 50 ship free. And for sales items, the discount is check, taken at checkout when you calculate order. If you have any questions at all, I'm here to help and even place the order for you. Thank you again for being part of Mary's party. And then I attach the party link, not the party group, the actual link to the shopping link. Now, again, this is in the handout, so don't worry about writing it down. So the whole point in all of this, oh, I think I missed, um, let me go back. Yeah, I missed after the order is received. Okay, so two weeks after the party, um, I make sure to message every single person um, who placed an order to see how they like it. This is what sets you apart from the store, from thebodyshop.com. I mean, how many times do you go shopping in a store and someone calls you and asks you how you like their that like what you got? I mean, I don't even get that from most direct sellers. So doing that kind of customer service is going to keep people shopping with you over and over and over again. And it's also going to help you to build that relationship. Um, it also gives you the opportunity to ask them to host again, if you haven't already, or to join your team. And especially once they're gut, gushing over how much they love their products. So, you know, keep that in mind. Always um, go back to that again and again. So the next thing is funneling people to your VIP group. Um, twice during my post my party template, I mention my VIP group. 
And again, if I if somebody places an order and they don't want to have a party or join my team, I invite them to my VIP group. Because if they told me no twice to the other two things, I know for sure they're not going to say no to being part of my VIP group because it's very, you know, benign and they don't have to do anything for it. So always, always, always um, make sure that you mention it several times and then even private message everyone. Um, I really love this uh, saying here, we were made to encourage each other. And that's really the theme of my VIP group. So in your VIP, before you get there, make sure that you give value and don't spam. Shanna's gonna talk more about um, building relationships in your VIP group. I just wanna talk about just a moment, for just a moment about asking before inviting, okay? Because I know when I first got started, you know, I asked some of my friends and family. And so I always, and I learned this from someone else uh, who built directly, built a lot online, is to always ask before inviting. Don't be a spammy pammy, guys. Always ask first. How many times have you accepted a friend request from someone and immediately get um, a, an invitation to their group? or an invitation to watch them live, or they tag you in a post, in a, in, a, in a live video. Oh my gosh, I hate that. So be sure not to be that person because I can tell you that that is not gonna win you any friends and it's not gonna bring anybody of value to your group. So this is what I always say, um, if I'm asking someone to join my group that I didn't meet in a party or something like that. Uh, maybe it's my, you know, sisters, sister-in-law, uh, something like that, or somebody that's shown some interest, whatever. But I always say, I'd love to invite you to my Body Shop VIP group. I mean, I share all things Body Shop, of course, but I also strive to empower women and we have a lot of fun. I think you'd really like it. But I always like to ask first, if not, no worries. So when you say it like that, I mean, I, can't, I don't think anyone has ever said no to me. So it really depends on how you ask, but always, always, always ask first. And I always encourage my hostesses, don't just invite people to your party, ask them first. And I give them words to say as well. So the importance of relationship is, I mean, Theodore Roosevelt, I think said it the best. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. So be the person who cares and you're going to find your business growing and growing and you're going to have um, an active VIP group. You're going to have um, a wonderful business. And thanks for listening, guys. I can figure out how to get back to my screen. Stacy, that information is amazing. And I just got to tell everyone because they probably don't see your uh, sales like I see your sales. Stacy is consistent across the board. And when you say Stacy, most months it's over 2000 because I see that you're always holding like a 2000 or more, which is those four parties, right? That you're telling everybody to get each month. Yeah, I try yeah. to. That's my goal for sure. Absolutely. So even through all the pandemic, all the learning, all the wonk that everyone wants to talk about, Stacy has been tried, true, and tested. And so this method absolutely works. So um, I'm so glad you have handouts for all of us. And that was really great information. So yes, next we'll up- will post that in, our, in the, in the, in the uh, event. I'll thank you. That. I, it, that, that's so helpful too. And I love, love that you guys have such great graphics to go with this. So next up we have Shannon Kiwi. So Shannon's, I, I guess her portion is going to be talking about how to build these relationships in her VIP group. So Shannon, are you there? Can you I am there. <laughs> okay. Can you get your screen to share? Shannon yes. has an amazing VIP group. Shannon has like followers that are her friends that have fallen in love with her, that follow her journey. And guess what? Through all of that, they also want to buy from her because, you know, they trust in her. They believe in who she is. And she's done this really great um, building of this community with her VIPs and her customers. And she's going to tell you all about it. So, okay, Shannon, now that I <laughs> will let you take it away and tell them how they can do what you do. Okay, so first of all, I just want to make sure, can everybody see my screen? Can anybody see my screen? Can somebody could give me just a thumbs yes. up? 
Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kelly. Um, so first off, I just want to thank Stacy for that amazing presentation. Um, her and I did, as she kind of mentioned, we we worked together on this presentation a little bit over the phone and through Messenger, and it was absolutely my pleasure to learn what she had to share. And even sitting here watching her presentation, like I learned a few things, and I that's why we're all here, right? Because we can learn something from pretty much anybody. And, you know, we need to take those opportunities to really learn from each other because that's what is going to set us apart from everybody else is that learning and that connecting with people. So I'm here to talk about what is known. Some people call it a VIP group. Some people call it a group. It is a Facebook group and it is going to be your online community. Um, so what is your online community? So here I did this little presentation and mine's not as pretty as Stacy. It has little crazy monsters and all kinds of stuff. It doesn't have the beautiful flowers, but it's goofy. And the reason it's goofy is because I did it. So part of what you're going to learn from me is I want you to put yourself in your group because your group isn't gonna be like my group, isn't gonna be like Stacy's group, isn't gonna be like Kelly's group, isn't gonna be like Michelle's group. It's gonna be whomever you are, it's gonna be your group. So the little scary monster is saying I have to be me. And that's really what it is, is you have to be yourself and that's what's going to attract your people to you because it's all about finding your people. Because if you're attracting people that aren't here for you, they're not going to support you. As Stacy mentioned in her presentation that people are going to shop from people they know, like, and trust. So I wanna help you really get to know, I'm actually, I want your people to get to know you so that we can make that happen because it's all gonna start with you kind of either coming out of your shell or you know just being authentically you. So what, why an online community? So you might say, well, I'm an in-person shopper. I don't need an online community. I just want to do, well, we all kind of have been online for the past year. I think we know that. But, you know, in general, now that people are kind of getting out there and going into the world. So I'm, a, I'm an in-person thing. I don't need an online community. Well, here's why an online community is going to be beneficial for you in the long run. You're going to expand your reach. Not everybody you meet is local. Just because your Aunt Susan is in your group, but I live in New Jersey and Aunt Susan, I don't actually have an Aunt Susan, but Aunt Susan lives in California. But she can keep in touch with me just like she keeps in touch with me on Facebook. She can keep in touch with my group via my online community, which is really important. Now, Aunt Susan's awesome. She's always buying from me. She's my best customer. Well, guess what? Aunt Susan, she doesn't really want to sell the body shop and that's okay. That's totally fine. But she wants to help me. So she's telling her friend Faith, her friend Hope, her friend Anne Marie. And she's, oh my goodness, you got to go to Shannon's group. She's so great. She has these body shop products. And let me send you the link. So it's expanding your reach to people who are not in your local community. Because I'm going to tell you that most of my team at this point, I'm in New Jersey, and my team is everywhere. So it's going to help you as far as consultants. It's going to help you as far as shoppers. I do have a few local shoppers, but most of my people are online. Searchable content. So this is big. So Facebook itself puts a lot and it is constantly evolving and changing. And sometimes that has its frustrating notes for sure. However, it's very helpful because you're able to have searchable content in a Facebook group. So for instance, Stacy's like, oh, hey, do you have any information on that concealer I saw a while back? I can go into my Facebook group and I can search serum concealer. And then my post comes up with all the colors that I can direct Stacy directly to, to help her find her personal color. So that's something else that you, yes, you can do that in person. You can root through your bins, but it's going to have it right here. You're going to be able to send them the post that you've already made. But the most important reason why an online community is it's going to become your 
home. You are going to be creating a bond with what I call your people. They're there for you and you're there for them. You're going to not only make customers, you're going to make friends. You're going to build relationships. So just a small little history for me. I'm social seller, which is kind of what we do. We're social sellers. We're being social and we're selling things. I've been an online social seller for five years. So I did not just wake up and all of a sudden have people in my group. It took, a, it took legwork and it took, I started off with nothing. And then you just get a couple people, you get a couple people. And as I said, Aunt Susan, she invited you know, Hope and Faith and all of her other friends. And then it slowly kind of evolved into what it is now. So that gives you the ability to do that because people want to be a part of something, you know, and especially in this crazy pandemic, post pandemic, whatever we're in now, people still want to be a part of something. And that online community that you're creating for them can be what they want to be a part of. <laughs> So here's my next little scary monster. And he's not scary at all. He's very friendly because being yourself is not scary. Like sometimes you go, oh, I don't want to go live. I look weird. I am totally socially awkward. I am a dork. I'm not funny. I'm not this. What if this happens? What if that happens? Guess what? That's everybody. That literally is every single person. I can't see you all on my screen right now, but those of you I can see, raise your hand if you think you're socially awkward because I do. This girl definitely does all the time. I have had to step over myself just to get over myself. <laughs> I use humor as a deflection. I'm like, oh, I can't think of what to say. I'm just gonna tell a joke, right? So, the, but guess what? As you get to know me, you're going to know that that's just me. That's just, you have to be you. You have to be authentic and you have to allow yourself to be vulnerable. And that is going to be the key to your success. If you had an acne situation, show that. Show how the products have helped you through your journey. Show your journey. If your journey is through depression or anxiety or going live or talking to people face to face or taking pictures of yourself or any of those things or all of those things, allow yourself to be vulnerable. And I promise you, you're going to relate to people because we're all vulnerable. Not any of us are, not, none of us are perfect. See, grammar, right? So none of us are perfect. Nobody's ever gonna be perfect. Even the people that you see that you think are perfect, I promise you, nobody's perfect. Um, we all have pets that make noise. We all have children that make noise. We're all stuck on this online situation. Share yourself, share yourself in your group. These are my people, okay? So these, this is me. So pretty much you wanna identify your brand. What does that mean? That means you want to come up with these things and I'm gonna talk about this on the next slide, but you wanna come up with these things that make your group your group. Okay, so I happen to be a cancer surviving mom of two kids who loves coffee, self-care and inspiring others. That's my thing, right? So if you come into my group, you're gonna see a lot of doctor's appointments, like no joke. You're gonna see me coming out of, I'm gonna talk about meeting with my oncologist. I'm gonna tell you what you know my surgical oncologist said. I'm gonna talk about it. And then I'm gonna be like, but I got a coffee on the way home and it was delicious. And that's pretty much me. I'm gonna post about my children. My son's in swim class right now. If you're in my group, you know that. You're like, oh yeah, how's he doing? Jumping in the pool. Good job, Rai Rai. You're gonna know about my kids. Kids. And you're going to watch my kids as they get older because that's part of being in my online community. I'm going to post silly inspirational things. Sorry, I get very thirsty when I talk. I'm going to post self care. I'm going to post tips and I'm going to post a lot of stuff because that's just who I am. So when you're talking about an online community, here's going to be the biggest key to your success. You want to find your content pillars. What is a content pillar? It's exactly what you just saw on the last screen. It's going to be three to six. If you have eight, who cares? If you have, but you want to have at least three things that are going to connect you to other people. My content pillars are my children, 
breast cancer survivor slash all things medical because it's a life, no kidding. Um, mom life, growth inspirational, coffee and humor as previously mentioned and self-care. So I consider mom life and my children actually separate because there's things you do as a mom and then there's all this stuff about your kids. So they're kind of like two separate things for me. I do a lot of family, oh, we're going on an adventure today. It's kind of one of my things to take a selfie of us in the car. And my family's grown to love it, I promise. And I say we're going on a family adventure today. I've done, we're going on a family adventure. Where are we going today? Or, you know, guess this or do that. Um, again, I, put, I love coffee. So I post about coffee. I have a significant amount of breast cancer survivors in my group. Why? Because I'm a breast cancer survivor. So we identify with each other. My group has rooted other people through chemo and radiation. Why? Because they rooted me through it. And we all have that in common. So I'm not suggesting you go out and get breast cancer. I'm not suggesting you go out and get kids if you don't have them. What I'm suggesting is you figure out what is your thing, right? Let's talk about tacos for a second. I don't have a slide. I should have done a taco slide because I knew I was going to talk about tacos. Tacos is almost one of the number one group pillars, group content pillars out there. If you ask people, like random people who do content pillars, what's your content pillar? Tacos. Coffee is a big one too. Why? Because people love tacos. People have opinions on tacos. People want to know, what do you put on your tacos? I'm eating tacos tonight. Hey guys, what's for dinner? Of course, tacos. And you're going to make posts about tacos tacos because tacos are super relatable and that's what your VIP or your online community is all about being super relatable to other people so it doesn't matter if it's tacos or coffee or the color of your hair if you're a redhead and you have freckles and your one of your content pillars could be freckles it's something that you like cats Dog, pets are huge, by the way. Kids, as previously mentioned, inspirational things, weight loss, you name it. Whatever it is that makes you, you, that is gonna be one of your content pillars. It's just identifying what it is. So why do we have content pillars? Content pillars are going to create engagement in your group. They bond you to the community, to your community. They become interactive posts that people constantly content comment on, they create a happy environment. Everybody loves tacos, everybody loves coffee, tea, whatever it is that you have, you're identifying with the people and they show people that you're not a spammy Pammy all about the money. So we're really sorry if your name is Pam during this. We didn't mean to use you as an example, but it does rhyme with spammy, so we did. <laughs> but the, the moral of the story is you don't want to just post about sales because if you have a group and you're like, oh, here, these are my coasters. Oh, look, see, it says coffee. This is how much I love coffee, right? So these are my coasters. You should totally buy my coasters because I want to break it down for you. Pretend we're all in person just for a second. We're all in a room and I can see Stacy. So I'm like, Stacy, I sell coffee coasters. This is what I sell. I sell coffee. She'll, hey, Michelle, did you see the coffee coasters? That's not how we interact with each other. So why on earth would we interact in an online community in that fashion? You wouldn't. You would just talk about, oh, you like coffee? Oh my gosh, I like coffee too. What kind of coffee do you like? Should we get coffee? Let's go get coffee. Then you could talk about the coasters at another time. But the majority of what you want to post isn't about what you're selling. It's about what your community is. Connect with your people. So I said it earlier, you're not making customers, you're making friends. So I just want to tell you this quick little story. Back in January, I had a new sponsee. Her name is Letitia. She lives in Florida. I live in New Jersey. And in February, you know, so I'm big on like the voice messenger with the, you know, the voice sending like a voice messenger on messenger. Letitia sends me a message. She's like, oh my God, I can't wait to tell you what happened today. I was like, I can't wait to hear what happened today. So she works in a, in a, a doctor's office. She's actually a nurse practitioner. And she was going to get her teeth cleaned and she was going to a new place. So she happened to have a blueberry hand sanitizer in the pocket of her scrub when she went into this meeting. I mean, into the meeting, excuse me, into the, her dental hygienist. Her dental hygienist said, hey, I know that product. That's the body shop. 
And she goes, yeah, it is. I love this product. You, you know the body shop? And she's like, yeah, I follow a girl online who sells the body shop. She's like, really? I just signed up like a month ago. So they're talking and she's like, she's just talking to her and she's like, yeah, you know, I, I follow her online. She used to sell LuLaRoe. And then like at some time last year, she started selling the body shop and I've been in her group forever. So of course I had to give it a try. She's like, really? She's like, yeah. And she, they're talking more and she's like, yeah, she had breast cancer. She got breast cancer a couple of years ago. And Letitia stops and she's telling me this through messenger. And she goes, what's her name? And Karen says, her name is Shannon. And Letitia goes, no way, that's my sponsor in the body shop. And Karen's like, you're kidding. Both of them live in Florida. I live in New Jersey. Karen's like, yeah, I've been in her group for years. I think that's where she brought the breast cancer up actually, but I, I don't remember. But anyway, so they, they start talking. She's like, yeah, I've been in her group for years. So as Letitia's telling me the story in Messenger, I'm messaging her. I'm like, oh my God, Karen was one of my like first customers. She's literally watched my kids grow up. She's like part of my family. She's not even just a customer. Letitia messages me back and says, that's literally what Karen said, that she's watched her children grow up that she knows your kids and she saw Ryland as a baby and Ellie just becoming a young lady that is what you want because it's not not just online you're making friends I consider Karen a personal friend of mine just like I consider a lot of the people that are in my group I've gotten to know them over the years they've gotten to know me yes we've walked through a lot of crazy stuff together but there's a reason they're in my group because we've made a bond over whatever it is that they bonded with me over. So in your online community, these are things that you want to do. You want to share pics and posts within your content pillars. As previously mentioned, everything that I post a couple slides back have all, has all been posted in my group. I'm constantly posting about my children. I'm constantly posting about all these things that I just told you. You want to go live and share yourself and not just selling your coasters or I body shop in this manner. You want to share things. Okay. So for example, when um, we just had momentum a couple weeks ago and when they announced me as leading light, like after that, we had a break right after that. I went live and cried my eyes out in my VIP group. And I was like, you guys, you don't even know how much this means to me. Balling my eyes out in my group. And you know what? Every single one of them was happy for me. Every single one of them was like, oh, you deserve this, this is amazing. Like all the, all the wonderful compliments that you could say to somebody, but I was just being real with them. I wasn't trying to sell them anything. I'm just sharing. They didn't even know I went up for it. So they were even happier that I want it. You know what I mean? Cause I didn't want to put the expectation on it. So it was just like, what? This is great. And it was amazing. Um, Obviously share your promos and sales and get new hosts, which is kind of how, you know, Stacy's presentation was going because you do want to use the people in your group and you want to say, hey, it's July, we have double hostess rewards. You definitely want to present that because Aunt Susan, she loves you. She's got a lot of friends. She's going to want to host for you. She's sitting in your VIP group. Encourage people to share in. What that means is um, this woman, Alice, that I knew from when I worked in the library years ago before I became an online seller, she bought some body shop products for me. She just shared on my the wall of my online community and she's like, I have to tell you, I love what I got. Great, awesome, approved post. Thanks so much, Alice. Thanks for sharing that you loved the products that you tried because that's what you want. And you wanna encourage people to share because then, Alice Post, Michelle sees Alice Post and she's like, oh, I might want to try that product. What'd you get, Alice? You know, my people, and it's not even about me getting to know Karen and me getting to know, well, I did know Alice in person, but me getting to know Denise or whomever else, they get to know each other. They've become friends. And now you have not only a community with you, but they become friends. And that's really what it's all about. And you want to share in from your business page into your community because it also lets them know, hey, I got this business page over here. You can give that a quick like. Thank you very much. So, and it also, Facebook likes sharing on multiple platforms. It's kind of like its thing. So instead of like posting here and posting there, if you post there and share it in, Facebook loves that because Facebook likes almost like a viral post essentially, but multiple shares loves it. And most importantly, 
you want to take this opportunity to thank your customers. I do giveaways. I do, I call them gift aways, so it doesn't say giveaway in the post, but you do giveaways, you do thank you posts, you enter them, just thank them for being there because they're in your community and they're so important that they're in there. And it's not about shopping. It's not about, oh, I mean, it is, yes, we want them to shop, but they're there for other reasons too. They're there for you. And you want to thank them just for being there. Things not to do. Drop your link and run. Don't do it. Don't do it. Have you ever been in a group where it's literally every post is, oh, who wants to help me out and, and get to the next level? Nobody. Do you know why? Because what are you helping them with? Nothing. You're not providing a service. You're not providing, I mean, I guess you are providing a service, but you're not providing content for them to see. Necessity. So they're not really going to want to help you out. They're, they want some usable comment, they, content. They want something at the end of the day. They just got off work and they see your child in their newsfeed and they're like, oh, Rylan, you did swim class today. That's so awesome. Good job. That's what they want, right? Don't be a spammy pammy. We said it a bunch of times tonight. Don't do it. Just content, content, content. Sneak in that you sell stuff. Copy others post. Now, the reason this is in here is a lot of us do share content with each other. And I want you to like to realize that it's okay to collaborate on things. And it's okay, like a lot, I do allow like my team to take my content and I always say, tweak it to make it you. Now, Unfortunately, what I've seen sometimes is that if I'm like, um, I love this eye stick and I use it every single day and I can't believe this, that, and the other thing, if you go and copy this, again, I can see Stacy on my screen, so I'm going to use you as an example. Sorry, Stacy. Stacy copies that and she's like, oh, I love this eye stick. I use it every day. And then somebody comments, really? Can I see it on you? And she's like, oh, no, I've never actually used that product. Well, then why did you copy that post? Tweak it. Tweak it. My friend Shannon uses this every day and she loves it. I just added it to my cart or so-and-so uses it. Give the credit where the credit is and take that off of yourself because if you're not actually the one writing the post, don't say you love it if you don't love it. Like if you don't love coffee, don't pretend you love coffee, right? If you're a tea drinker and you're like, this is the best coffee I've ever had because you know, you're copying my post and somebody's like, does it have an acid taste? And you're like, I actually have no idea because I hate coffee. Well, then you shouldn't have posted that. So long story longer, I hope that point makes <laughs> sense. And then drop recruitment posts over and over. There's a time and a place for recruiting. Again, the people are in your group. They're there for a community. Just like you don't want to shove the, the coaster in their face constantly, you want to have a time and a place. Should you bring it up? You absolutely can bring it up but you wanna just make sure content, 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 sneak in that you're selling things to them. Not necessarily sneak, that's a poor example of the word, but I think that you understand. You just kind of put it in a little bit. This is my favorite, okay? This is one of my favorite slides. Stop comparing yourself to anyone, to anyone. You are you, I am me, Stacy, Stacy, Michelle is Michelle, Kelly is Kelly, Tandy is Tandy, you are you. It does not matter if you have 54 people in your group. You might have a more active group than I do. You might have a more active group than the next person. It does not matter if you have 64, 74, it does not matter. Everybody starts someplace. So today you're going to start, if you haven't already, start building this kind of uh, engagement kind of platform. So no comparing yourself, no saying, well, I can't do what she does because she has a thousand people in her group. Who cares? Who cares if she has a thousand people? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because a lot of people in groups are just either filler or, you know, they don't see posts or they were in there for a different reason or they got added or like Facebook has evolved a lot over the years. So if somebody has a group that's been around for a while, they might have more people in the group. Who cares? It's not your group. Don't compare yourself to that group. You have your own group. And that's what's most important is creating your community. So no comparing, stop doing it. <laughs> so now I just wanna to touch on the differences between a business page versus a group. There's a lot of analogies on um, like 
a business page versus a group. I think even Stacy said earlier, like a business page is kind of like your storefront and the uh, group is your store. It's like the outside, the in, it's a snapshot of you. And then it's like the behind the scenes, like party in your group. So I came up with this like kind of different analogy. I want you to think of your business page as a travel brochure to a vacation spot, okay? So you open it up and you look at, oh, this is Hawaii. I wanna to go to Hawaii, this looks awesome. Look at all these beautiful pictures. And it looks like an, a wonderful place that you wanna go. Your group is like you live there. So you know all the hot spots. you know the local places where you can get a good beverage or get a good meal or the sneaky uh, little you know, hideaway where the, all the tourist people don't go, but it's still just as beautiful. That's your group. It's the, it's the goodies inside that all the tourists don't go to, but your travel for sure is what's gonna get people to your group. So you want to do highlights. You want to do, you want to showcase your business. You want to promote yourself as a leader. You want to, if you have achievements, hey, put that on your business page. Be like, I was number one in this, that, or the other thing. Promote yourself in a, in a humble, like a humble braggy kind of way. You want to showcase products. You want to take, you know, pictures. The business page has the ability to add products and then you can tag products in your posts. So that's a really good function that the business page has that the Facebook group doesn't, but you're going to funnel the people here and you're gonna send them to your group because that's where you want them because that's where you're really sharing all the fun stuff about you and that's where they're really gonna to get to know you. You wanna recruit through your business page. I, all of my people that I've met online um, have all been recruited through my business page. Again, Facebook has different kind of allocations that it has set for business page than it does for a group. It makes them two completely different things. You wanna drive the people, funnel them to your group. Just like Stacy said with the party, you wanna get them to join your community because then they're part of you. They get to know you. They want to shop with you. They want to know you. They want to like you. They want to trust you. They want to shop from you. And you want to, as previously mentioned, share into your group. So if you do a post and it's about all the lip finals and it has all the lip finals on it, you can take that post from your business page, share it right into your, uh, you know, online community VIP group, and it's already there. And plus they can just bonus click on that and like your business page as well, if they so desire. So the last thing I have to tell you, here's the thing. There's no big secret ingredient. There's no formula. You can watch classes. You can watch this, that, and the other thing. You could do loops or giveaways or all the stuff. The secret sauce is you. You already have it. Go upstairs, go in the other room, go in the bathroom, go get a mirror and look into it. Yeah, that's it right there. That's your secret sauce. That's how you're going to grow your group. That's how you're going to build your customers because you're going to get them in your group. You're going to have these content pillars, which is going to be um, one of our little homework assignments is finding your content pillars. And you're going to bond with the people because of one of your content pillars. You're going to be real. You're going to be authentic. You're going to be you. And you're going to lead by example. And you're going to find recruits this way. You're going to find customers this way. And you're just going to find friends this way. And that's really what it's all about. I mean, at least to me anyway, because I can tell you that when I was first diagnosed with cancer, I went live in my group and, and I told them and they were there for me. And they were there for me on this entire journey that I've gone through. And they know my journey and they're there for surgeries and they're there for all the things. And they're there because they're not just customers, they're friends. And the way to do that is to build this kind of online community that houses them in this one place called your home, which is also your online community. So, that's my presentation for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and got some kind of value out of it. Um, well, Shannon, amazing. And totally, I think what so many of us need to hear. And here, I, I know you have an absolutely incredible VIP group, your, your friends, your community that you've built. But truthfully, tell everyone, it started with one, right? You had to start somewhere. At one point, Shannon had to start just like all of us 
and build this community. So don't feel like, oh my gosh, I, you know, Shannon's group is amazing. She had to start somewhere. She's giving you all the tools to start the process. And at, since we are just all kind of starting this business, I mean, I know we've been into it for about a year, but we're really at the beginning. And think of five years, think of 10 years. You have this community built. What a great resource away. And I'll tell you, I see Shannon sales and we've talked many a times and she always says, I have amazing customers. I have amazing group that supports me in my business. And I think she runs it amazingly with them. So the, again, it's a journey. They're on this with her. I think no matter how long she stays with the body shop, she's going to have sales coming from that community. We all want that. And what she just gave you are all the tools to get you exactly what she's doing right now. Thank you for laying that out so easily and simply, Shannon, for us, that was um, unbelievable. And I think you and Stacey have some homework for everyone. Do you want to share the homework? Um, well, I, I know we, so we put it, we put together a Google Doc and I think Stacy, we're going to, Stacy's going to share that into the, yes, I am. Okay. And then we put a little homework assignment. My, my part is definitely going to be identify your content pillars. So that's going to be the little bit about a homework. And again, it's something that we all identify with. And then Stacy has um, some things to add as well. And that's kind of all part of our little Google Doc together. Mm -hmm. Stacy, I don't know if you want to talk more on that. Yeah, I'm going to post it. Um, at, it'll be a post and, and it'll be in, in files because it's a PDF. Uh, but yeah, Shannon had identify your group pillars and to share you. And then I had to book uh, my homework for you is to book two more parties for July or August. You know, talk to people. Um, don't just message someone and say, will you have a party for me? You know, tell them what's in it for them, you know, do do it right because you you have something fantastic to offer when you um, are especially this month. Oh my gosh, double host rewards! I mean, seriously. So d never act like they're doing you. Please do me a favor and have a party because golly, I mean, you're doing them a, a favor by helping them to get all these free products and getting their friends together. But I, I really want to encourage you to get used to asking people because the more times you ask, the more you ask, the more comfortable you're going to be doing that. And I remember, I think it was Gail McDonald one time who said, uh, or maybe it was, um, oh, what, that other one, um, I can't think of her name right now, but Belinda Ellsworth. She said that um, your job as a consultant is to ask people to host parties and to join your team. And don't be afraid of the word no. Remember, when you go through the drive-through, they always ask you if you want fries with that or if you want to up that to a drink or if you want a milkshake. And they don't get upset and go cry in the corner when they, you tell them, no, thank you. You know, it's okay. Be a no collector, get used to pe asking people. But if you do it in the right way, you're probably going to get a lot more yeses than no's. But that's what I want you to do. I really want you to get used to asking people because, um, you know, it's 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 all um, going to be about parties. Guys, and just amazing. I am so glad you guys presented. Oh, Shannon, did you have something you wanted to add? I'm yeah, sorry. I just because um, Stacy reminded me that I put share you on there. And part of that was, you know, share your kids, share your pets. That part of your little homework assignment, besides identifying your pillars and what Stacy just said, is share yourself. So find one of those content pillars, identify them, and share within those content pillars sometime this week, preferably a couple of times, because that's only going to help you, and share yourself with your group. That's it. <laughs> yes. I mean, guys, you've laid it out so, so easily. I, I, I love what you have. This is being recorded. So guys, I'm going to put up the recording and I want you guys to rewatch this. I know I have to as well. And I know you guys also said that you guys have the sheets for everybody that you're going to share um, so we can go through it easily. But I think this is worth watching again, uh, especially if you're not really great with social media or you haven't started your VIP group or Okay, let's be honest, you might have started it, but it is not what it should be. 
here's all the tools that you need to do that. So absolutely, you can start tomorrow and you don't have to build, you know, the pyramids in one day. You build that over time. Start with your base. We all got to start with our base. So make sure that we're doing that for sure. So wait, I'm going to stop recording and we're going to allow people a minute to ask some questions. Hold on one second. Shannon, you want to stop sharing your screen because then we can all see each other again. Here we are.